What's going on everyone? We're out here at Glen Helen Raceway and we're here to find out if a $1,500 motorcycle can make it 24 hours. Go! Dude, I can't see anything. It just doesn't sound normal. We might have a problem. some bikes out. I'll let you guys check them out. Can I ride this one today too? Uh, sure. Yes. <laughs> it sounds magical when you fire that thing up. I've never seen that in my life. It sounds good as it looks. Yeah. Aiden, what do you think? <laughs> I'm second guessing myself on uh, signing my life away right now. <laughs> they, they don't look that bad, but I'm having flashbacks because last time I showed up and the SP500 didn't look that bad. And then like and 10 then, minutes oh, into the ride, we're rebuilding the carburetor. Oh, no, 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 that, but that was Chase, Chase's bike. Chase went through that one just like he went through that 95. Right. Me and Wes went through these two. Okay. okay. Just wait. <laughs> what? Are you already down <laughs> <magic bike? laughs> first, Wait, first of all, our, ra our first bike looks way worse than their backup bike. <laughs> All right, guys, you already know it is Cheap Bike Challenge time once again, and we are very excited. Now, if you followed along with our last challenge, you know Gabe from Torture Test Magazine. He's known for racing old crappy bikes, which is right up our alley. Now, more notably, he's known for Ironmanning the 24-hour race at Glen Helen on a DR200. He is a nut, and he is also the reason that we're heading back to good old GH for this year's 24-hour race. So this challenge consists of two teams. We've got Team Hurricane, including myself, my boy Charles, and we've got a couple other special guests. We've got Gabe, Iron Man himself, from Torture Test Magazine. He's gonna show us the fast line around the course. And then we've got the fastest guy in his family, if not second fastest, Aiden Kiefer, son of the one and only Chris Kiefer. Next up, we've got the B team, AKA Team Rad Dragon, and that consists of Rocky Mountain Zone Chase and Eric. We've also got AMA Supercross racer and owner of the Moto Academy, AJ Catanzaro, AKA Kitty Cat. And to top it all off, we've got the man behind the dirt bike channel, Kyle Brotherson. And of course, we couldn't just race this normally, so let's lay down the rules. Each team is gonna get two bikes, a main bike and a backup bike. Now those bikes have gotta be 1995 or older, and you only have $1,500 to buy the bike and fix it up. So it sounds like Chase has already jumped the gun and picked up a bike. He's eager to show it to us, so I'm excited to look at it. Brand new. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell you boys about this bike here. Top nice. end's got about six, seven hours on it. It's got a freshly coated cylinder. Suspension's been redone. All the linkages, everything's been re-greased. Of course I've got an FMF Gold Series pipe on there. I think that this is How fine. Many gallons is this this is cold? just fine. Enough. Should we see if it fires up? Yeah. Light it up. How long has it been since you kicked a bike? Uh, since my RMZ. Choke it, dude. Choke on? Not a choke it, man. Choke so, on. He's not used to have a carbureted bike. Yeah. Oh, just don't lay it over. Yeah, lock that thing in, Chance. There you go. I thought I was going to be worried, but I'm not now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it sounded the same. <laughs> wow, wow, sounds good. Is that a choke? Fresh, clean Come motor, on, baby. Don't let me down now. Yeah, see the air filter. Oh my. Oh my. Fresh, freshy. Surprisingly, not that bad. Ooh, <laughs> this is not some good. custom dirt in there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about this seems wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, here. Oh, oh, oh. That is what the 
winning bike sounds like at the 20 oh, crowd challenge. That'll that's what the winning bike looks like. They said it didn't run good when you got it's it to full throttle. That sounded great to me. It was still cleaning out. Smells so good. Hey, what is up guys? We're back on the road and we're about to go pick up the winning motorcycle. Jason. What is it? Chase is going to be super jealous. This is an RMX 250, perfect bike for what we're doing. Can't imagine finding anything better. So I'm super pumped. I don't know, what do you think? The only problem is this bike is in Grand Junction, Colorado, which is about four hours from us. So, uh, yeah, we're hitting the road as quick as we can, and we're gonna go scoop that bike up. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in four hours. Mike, how you doing? I'm Wes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for meeting us. Yeah, I'm glad you guys could make it down. 95 RMX. 250. What can you tell us about it? Can't tell you a lot, lot. What do you know about it catching on fire? That's the thing. I no idea about it catching on fire, but you, if you look, I yeah, know it's gotta wow. be fire for sure. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Brake hose yep. looking pretty bad. What do you think, Charles? Headlight works. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, dude? Well, my honest opinion, and yeah, I don't, I don't mean any offense, but oh, no, not at all. It's a five hundred dollar bike, not a dime more. I don't think we could make it work. Really? Less, and I don't know if this is our bike, to be honest. We got a ton of oil right here. Looks like we got some stuff coming from the power valve. We got some play in that crankshaft. It's not in and out, it's straight up and down. So, crank bearings? So, bottom end time. All right guys, looks like we are leaving empty band, unfortunately, but we went and looked at the bike, and man, it's got some issues. No offense to that guy, but it looks like it was ridden, put away wet, <laughs> ridden again, lit on fire, put away dry, <laughs> ridden again, put away wet. It sucks, we're pretty bummed. Uh, it would have been a good bike, considering, I mean, what it is, but not, what, not in our budget. You know what the straw is that broke the camel's back? <laughs> the, uh, when they got dr done drinking the 2% milk, they cut out the side of the milk carton and stapled it on that the was side their to side finish panel. the number plate. Yeah, because yeah, it melted down, so. Just overall, not good. Not a good bike. Um, but anyway, we'll continue our search for the next winning bike, and Chase can just sit on his. See ya. She's a little rough around the corners, <laughs> but I think we might be able to make it work. I think we do a G. I think this is a solid backup bike and it would give us enough to go through some of the stuff and make it 24 hour worthy. So it definitely need... runs funky, but I don't think, I think the motor's okay, but we'll definitely do some carb and I think that pet cock's leaking. Obviously grips, probably cables, levers. So uh, you think we can do all that in our budget? Four guards, motor mount, Carburetor, linkage bearings, pads, everything. I think we totally do it. Let's do it. Sweet. If you're happy, I'm happy, it. Charles. Let's do it. All right, we're heading down to Nephi. We're gonna check out a WR250. It's a 1995. This guy's telling us it's super clean. Right here. He's gonna ride it here. That's flexing. It's a pretty dang cool bike, and it looks pretty clean. 
So how long have you actually had the bike? I've had it for, let's see, two months now. So, okay, wait, you were saying somebody did a piston or? Yeah, it has a new Weisco piston on it. The guy that I got it from had a new Weisco piston. Yeah. Are you okay if we uh, look at the piston and well, yeah. pull the pipe off and? Yeah, if you want to go, tear into it, go for it, look at it. Just check it out. Okay. Yeah, I'm about it. So far, so good. Look at the cylinder wall. Oh, okay. It's hard to like be gentle right here. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way down. Okay. Uh when, I guess when your silencer mount breaks off, you just cut apart another one and wrap it around. Put your hose clamp down here. Uni air filter hose clamp. So what I guess we're gonna do a compression test? Yeah. yeah. Shoot. It's not going any higher than that. Perfect. I was expecting okay. more like 150. But, but what did it say? It said 190. 190. Yeah. That's healthy. Top end, so it That's healthy. I, take it down I thought right? this was a six speed. Is yeah, it not? Speed. It's five. It is five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five gears. Five. Chase is in trouble, I think. We you you know our budget, you know our you know we gotta beat Chase. Okay. <laughs> that's my biggest that's my biggest motivation. Okay. You'll you, do thirteen? Yes, but you gotta beat him. So that gives you the money for a piston. I'll give if it, you want. I'll give it freaking hell, dude. I'm not messing around here. Okay. I'm here to beat Chase. That's my <laughs> Let's do it. You wanna do it? Let's do it. I I think no brainer. Thirteen hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Didn't do nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pay the man! Right. <laughs> so here's the handoff. Here's the title. Thank and you. it's good! Charles, come on! Dude, I think he underestimates the kid yet. Charles, did you go with him to get this one? Where'd you guys go this time? Like Wyoming? We went across the street. Yeah, it was Quick find, just we have a light, you don't have a light. There's no light I mean, on the this, bike. This is a 24 hour race. You there's not a light on the right? bike. There's a light. Well, there's, there's sorry. Way. It has, it's it's wired for a light. It's wired. That was my bad, sorry. Okay. Wired for a light. We wouldn't run a stock light anyway. We're gonna get a light bar. Yeah. Yeah. Prepare there's not, well, there's not much of a fight to be had right now. What's this? So did you already? That's your speedometer if we want to know how fast we're going. I see that you uh, started working on it already. You got the port guards off, the side plate off. Front fender is very funny. Look at this couch though, dude. That's dude. gonna be nice. 24 hours. Oh, and the grip, nice. man. 24 oh, wow. hours. We gotta we gotta, do a, we gotta, gotta do a little plastic welding. Plastic weld there. <laughs> He's got no idea what's about to slap him in the face. This thing, it, this bike runs how his bike should run. He just needs some serious work on his, so uh, he's got a rude awakening coming. First kick! Hey, I'm impressed. Yes, All right, get free credit. 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 credit is due. It started. Good job, dude. Unlike the YZ. It's the a YZ solid starter. starter. Chance and we wrote it. How it's long just, did it take us to start your bike? I went out four hours later to start up first kit. It took you four hours to start it? Nobody would ever find it back there. This is all the cleaning stuff, so Chase for sure is not going to come back here.
the machine that kills your dreams. Yeah. Let's go down the rat battle. I just gotta kick stand. Winning bike. Winning bike right here, baby. How much you pay for it? 1500 1300 bucks, 1995 Uh Everything looks perfect on this. Shocks blow. So, uh, shocks blow. Here's, here's the deal. Trouble. That's why we got it from 30. There's your budget. There's your budget. Oh, blow shock. Wait, 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 wait. Uh oh. Wait. wait. You got it for 13. Look at all these bricks. I call BS. No way. I think Chase is worried. I, think, like I kind of feel bad. I kind of picked it apart. What and, uh, but you got for 13. So you got 150 bucks. 200. Oh, you got 200 bucks. Where'd you go to school better on this oh, yeah. one? Yeah, 200 bucks. <laughs> so that gives us the port sills, the shock, and we're going to do brake rear pads. tires. We got to do brake pads. Did this take the wind out of your sails a little bit? No. I Look. I love a fair competition. Here's the thing, but there's nothing fair about this. Yeah, this if you want to see how your bike should this run, you should try riding this. Well, so this is your backup bike? I mean, it, it might be yours. Wait, you don't have a backup yours. bike? We haven't looked yet. It might oh. be yours when our other bike comes in. What other bike? So. What do you just find every bike on KSL? <laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's just say there's no WR250s left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! got some cash money so we're gonna go check out a WR250 actually we're just gonna be picking it up because we saw this gem the other day we gave it a shakedown went through the paces with it and I uh, think it's gonna be a solid backup bike we want to have the best regular bike and backup bike so that's why we're picking it up we already gave him a hundred dollar deposit banks were already closed though when we looked at it it was just kind of spur of the moment so now we got the cash we're gonna get the bike. Hey, hey, Justin wore the right shirt today. Um, he owns a KTM now, so he's gonna have to get rid of this shirt yeah. when he gets when he sells the bike. So, do we have a do we have a minute? Can I just take it for a quick little spin? Yeah. yeah. How many kids? so long for this thing to warm up. I guess I just have two stroke things that I'm not used to, but like... You alright? Did you get bucked or what? 